Hello and welcome to my channel and my new video. In this video we have the Casio WS1300. And I'm gonna show you how to set the time, date and other watch functions. So let's get started. From the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep. So let's go. And there it is. First in a row of settings is setting our seconds value. Now, you cannot set the exact value of seconds, but what you can do is reset that value to zero simply by pressing this button over here. And, whilst we are in the position of setting the seconds, we can also set the illumination duration value. As you can see, currently the one line is lit over here, which means that when I press the light button, the watch screen will stay illuminated for uh, one and a half seconds. When I press the light button, now we have three dots or lines. This indicates that when I press the light button, the face of the watch will stay lit on for three seconds, indicating that uh, when I'm pressing the light button, whilst the seconds are flashing, I'm in the position of setting my illumination duration or changing it between one and a half and three seconds. I'm going to leave it at one and a half, so one a dot. Now press the mode button once again and we are in the position of setting our daylight saving time mode. Is it on or off? Now the daylight saving time mode in my time zone yesterday was turned off so it's correct but, but I can shuffle it between on or off by pressing the search button. So pressing the search button I'm shuffling between daylight saving time mode on or off. I'm gonna leave it at off. Next up Press the mode button once again, and we are in the position of setting our, our value. As you can see, number 13, 13 is flashing, indicating that it's 13, 13 o'clock. But pressing the light button or search button, I can shuffle that to 15, which is the time in my time zone. Once we have set our, our value, I'm going to press the mode button, and we move on to setting our minutes value. Now the procedure is the same, so by pressing the light or search button, you shuffle up or down the minutes value. So in my time zone, it's 15 o'clock and 9 minutes, and I'm going to press the light button to get it to 9 minutes. Uh, let's get it to 10 actually. There it is. Now we have set our minutes value. Press the mode button once again, and we are in the position of setting our uh, year value. As you can see it's flashing 2005 and you can shuffle it between up or down by pressing the light or search button. I'm gonna get it to 2022 because that's the year we are currently in and once I'm done I'm gonna press the mode button once. With that I'm in the position of setting my month value. As you can see number six is flashing but I'm gonna press the light to decrease or search button to increase the value. So it, currently it's October and I'm going to leave it at number 10. Next up, press the mode button once again. We are in the position of setting our uh, day value. Today is October the 31st and I'm going to press the light to decrease or search button to increase my month value. So the 31, there it is. Next up, press the mode button and we are back at the beginning and setting our seconds value. When we have run through the cycle of setting the time and date, illumination, duration and so on, now to implement the settings press the adjust button once. Now we are in the position of configuring our home site data. This watch has the tie graph as well as moon face, so uh, you have to uh, set your UTC differential longitude value uh, uh, longitudinal interval minutes, so you have the cor corresponding correct data for your tide graph and moon phase. First in a row of settings is setting our UTC differential. It is set in increments of uh, 0 0.5, so UTC plus 1 is my time zone, that is the Paris time zone, and I'm going to leave it at UTC plus 1. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to press the mode button to get to setting my longitude value. Now there's the uh, east and west longitude value. As you can see, we have uh, fl uh, flashing number 144. So you set your uh, uh, east longitude because it's flashing, it's say saying E over here. 
by pressing the light button or search button, you can fine tune your uh, longitude value. Once you're done with that, press the uh, mode button and you can see that we are in the position of setting our east or west. Now set it back to, uh, sorry, set it back to west by pressing the search button and in the next cycle we are going to set our west uh, longitudinal value. Once you're done with that, press the mode button once again and we are in the position of setting our longitudinal interval hours. So you can press either light or search button to set your uh, your longitudinal uh, interval hours. Once you've set your hours, press the mode button and you switch to minutes. You set it the way you want to and once you're done, press the mode button once again. We are back at the UTC differential and now we are in the position of setting our longitudinal value but now it's the west longitude. So you can set your east or west longitude value. To implement the settings, simply press the adjust button and the watch will implement all of those settings that you have just made. Now there is the another uh, option for you to set and that is whilst in the standard timekeeping mode, by pressing the search button you can shuffle between 12 or 24 hour time format. Also you can mute the watch whilst in the standard timekeeping mode by pressing and holding the mute button until you see and hear the beep and you have it written over here that the tones are off. Simply to turn it back on, get it back to standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the mode button and as you can see it disappeared. So that's how you uh, shuffle between your tones on or off. That was another tutorial video on how to set the time and date. This was the Casio WS1300. Thank you very much for watching and if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you.